Do you remember when being in the 96th percentile was a bragging right? Well, when it comes to clogged arteries, not so much. I'm Eileen Marcus, blogging for 60 and Me, and I'm here to tell you, when your doctor looks at you and says, 96% chance you would have died if you didn't come in, you know it is not a bragging right. What were my symptoms? Why did I even go to the emergency room? I just didn't feel right. I had a pain in my back, and I assumed it was from too much yoga. That downward dog gets me every time. Check out my blog post on stretch and kvetch, yoga for the realist. So I thought I was in downward dog too much. But actually, I was also lightheaded. I never drink water. I had unusual fatigue. I get up to pee every few you know, hours, so of course I don't sleep well. I had heartburn. It was summer. I had fresh garden, fresh garden tomatoes I kept on eating. Maybe that was it. And I had a pain in my arms, also attributed to yoga. That tree pose gets me every time too. But something inside of me and someone, a medical professional, because I said I just don't feel right, my physical therapist said, go check it out. And I cannot tell you why, but I listened and it saved my life. So what did I learn? The first thing I learned was to trust your intuition. When you don't feel right, when something's going on, when you can't name it, know that it might be your body and the universe trying to tell you something. Second, prioritize your health over convenience. I live 30 minutes from the emergency room. I wanted to go home, lie down, have some tea, hot bath. I'm sure I'll feel better. No, I had to say, let me go to the emergency room. Let me pay the copay. Let me make the drive. I just don't feel right, and I have to take care of it. Third, know the signs. Women heart attack symptoms are very different than men. They're like, not like what we see in the movies. No one's clutching a heart. No one's like this. I had a little pain in my back, right? The other things we talked about, fatigue, lightheadedness, you know, I was very thirsty. Those I could explain, but you have to look at the whole package. Know the signs. Fourth, listen to your body. I've been through a lot with my body. I'm sure you have too. And this was different. It was very different. I had never experienced a heart attack before, so I didn't know what it was. And it's a good thing I got it checked out, which is tip number five. Seek medical help when in doubt. Go stat to the emergency room. You know what? What's the worst thing? Oh, that lady's a whiner. What's the best thing? We saved your life because you came into the emergency room or you saved your own life because you took those signs seriously. That's the message I wanted to get. And number six, take care of yourself. Try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. None of us are saints, but more yogurt, less sour cream, more green tea, less coffee. There are choices to be made every day that can help. What's next? Share this story because even if 96% of you don't heed this advice, we might just save a life or two. And if you're in that last 4% and think it won't happen to you, statistically thinking, that is no way to live. It's Eileen Marcus, blogging for 60 and Me, glad to be alive and looking forward to hearing your comments. Thanks.